Pro Wrestling Crate for September 2020. This is Staff Favorites Part 5. What is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? Yes, another Pro Wrestling Crate video. I know, but I was months behind, so I had to do July's, now September's, and then hopefully October's will be next week. And then we'll be caught up before November shows up, probably the next week. Uh, but yes, this is Staff Favorites Part 5. It was for September 2020, which was two months ago. I'm going to go ahead and open this box. I don't remember who's in this box. I don't remember uh, anything about it because staff favorites could really be literally anything. There's always two shirts. There's an 8x10 autograph by a professional wrestler. There is a small little figure called a micro brawler, which are freaking awesome, and I have a ton of them. Uh, I've had this box for two and a half years because I like this box. It's only $35 a month, and you get two shirts, which is basically the value of the $35 that you get. Uh, the last couple of boxes I've noticed they have not really had a DVD in there. I'm glad for that because DVDs, I mean, it's so like, I don't buy DVDs. I don't buy Blu-rays anymore. I don't buy, do, everything's digital now. I do everything digital. Just give me, if they could give me a digital code to something, I'll go download it and I'll watch it. But DVDs are just so you know, 20 years ago, guys. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's find out what's in the box. Again, Staff Favorites Part 5. This should be pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm not looking. This is the spoiler card. It says Staff Favorites. October's is Masks and Paint. That tends to be their October theme because Masks and Paint, Halloween, always a great box. The, the October box is always great. I love getting the October box, uh, but this one should be pretty good too. So right off the top, I'm sure, yes, the, the shirts are on the top. So I'm going to take the shirts out. I set them aside because I like to look at them after everything else. Ooh, those shirts feel like there's more than one shirt almost, more than two shirts. All right. So the first thing I pull out is the Micro Brawler, September's Micro Brawler. It is, oh, Chris Hero. It is Chris Hero. Um, this poor guy, man, he's not had a very good career, honestly. Uh, he was at NXT, he left, he went to the other promotions, and he went back to NXT. He got no push at all his second time around at NXT. And now I don't even know where the guy is. Like, I, I don't keep up with Chris Hero very much. Um, all right, let me get this open. All right, so there you go, guys. That's the Micro Brawler. It is, like I said, Chris Hero. Uh, 100% I know who Chris Hero is. Like I said, he was at NXT twice. Never did very well. He was like an NXT original, I think. He was there when they first started. Um, it says CH on his trunks on the back right there. For all you ladies that want to look at the butt of a, uh, of a plastic figure or a rubber figure. <laughs> Has his elbow out like that. His other one's on his hip. Very cool. Very cool. Not one of my favorite wrestlers of all time because like I said... He hasn't had a very good career, uh, but yeah, still a good guy, still a cool guy. I, uh, you know, definitely cool to get that micro brawler out of this box. Let's pull out the next thing and let's see what we got. It is another comic book, guys. <laughs> this is, this says Fig Story. So Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder, or um, Matt Cardona, and I can't remember Kurt Hawkins' real name. Can't ever remember. This is going to be great to read. This is going to be a good read. Uh, headlocked. Uh, Cardona, Myers, and Kingston. What is Kurt Hawkins' real name? I don't ever remember. I can't ever remember. But yeah, Matt Cardona was Zack Ryder. Then that is Kurt Hawkins from WWE. They are, neither one of them are at WWE anymore. Matt Cardona is at AEW. Kurt Hawkins I'm pretty sure it's still with Impact. He had gone to Impact, but I'm pretty sure he's still there. Uh, very, very cool. I even like how the Headlocked Comics at the top right here is in the Disney font. Headlocked Comics presents Fig Story. Now, these two guys have a great uh, YouTube channel slash podcast if you're not following them. Um, 
It's the Pro Wrestling Figure Podcast, I think is what it's called. I've, I'm subscribed to them. I do watch them all the time. I actually, they're, they're pretty funny guys. It was always funny to watch them backstage at WWE with some of the other guys who aren't as much into toys as they are. Uh, very, very funny to watch. So, uh, all right, let's see what the next thing is in the box. This feels like the pin, folks. This, I think I have this correct. That is the pin this month. Come on. There you go. I can't die. Oh, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson, the club. Ooh, the Good Brothers. Ooh. Ooh, that is a cool pin. All right, I do like Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows or Luke Gallows. They're at Impact now, so, you know, they can have stuff in these boxes because WWE doesn't allow their people to put stuff in these boxes. Uh, that is a cool pin. I actually really like that pin a lot. I am a big fan of the Good Brothers slash the Bullet Club. I like the Bullet Club a lot. I like those guys a lot. All right, so that pin is going to go on my pin board, which I'll take a picture of. And this week, I promise... I will have a picture on my Instagram of my pin board. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna do it. So there is one more thing in here before we get to the shirts and the autograph. It looks like a handkerchief. Yes, it looks like a handkerchief. Hold on, let me open it up and we'll take a closer look at it. So this is what the handkerchief is, guys, that they sent over. Let's see, you guys will probably recognize this. There you go. If you are not familiar with what that is, that is the Ultimate Warriors kind of logo. That is the war paint that he wore when he came to the ring. Very cool down here. I, I say handkerchief, but maybe like a pocket square or, or uh, you know, something like that. I don't know. What would you guys call that? Uh, so I will tell you, I'm not a fan of the Ultimate Warrior. I was never a fan of the Ultimate Warrior because I was a big Hulk Hogan guy. So when Warrior showed up and they started to kind of butt heads a little bit and they, it felt like they were trying to make the, the Warrior the new like top guy, I just, I just couldn't take to it. And then after that, guys, he didn't have much of a career. Again, didn't have much of a career. Ultimate Warrior was only around a little while. He, he didn't have a, a, an epic career, so... Um, I just wasn't a big fan of him. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people really love Ultimate Warrior, but I just am not a giant fan. I do have an Ultimate Warrior shirt because of this box. And now I have an Ultimate Warrior handkerchief. So, uh, all right, let's move on to the shirts, guys. The shirts are always great. This shirt was in the last box. This is the RVD Dragon shirt. That, that is a wicked cool shirt. I like that shirt a lot. Um, hence, I'm wearing it because I really enjoy it. Uh, all right, first shirt. Oh man, you guys. Pretty sure it was like Zach Bonifer or somebody said when I opened this box, I was gonna love this box. Oh dude, you you know me too well. Um, oh, that is freaking epic. Holy cow. If you guys don't know, Roddy Piper is one of my absolute favorite of all time wrestlers. Uh, Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh man, that is a fantastic shirt. That is a fantastic shirt. James Dieter sent me an autograph of Roddy Piper not too long ago and I cried on camera. I'll put that right there if you guys want to see it. It is just one of the most epic things that I've ever been gifted by somebody who is just a tremendous human being um I'm, I'm not gonna look i'm already getting emotional just thinking about it we are in the process of creating a frame for that 8x10 of roddy piper autographed by rowdy roddy piper hot rod rowdy roddy piper oh my gosh uh that shirt's awesome that will be one of my top shirts that i've ever gotten from this company because it's the only Roddy Piper shirt I've ever gotten. So that's that's amazing, guys. All right, let's look at the other shirt, which has a lot to, uh, it has big shoes to fill now, I guess. All right, without even having the, seen the design on this shirt, it's a white shirt, so it's gonna have a lot. It better be a great design because I don't wear white shirts. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's that is a good one. Freshly squeezed orange Cassidy. That okay, that's a pretty good shirt. I might actually wear this one, guys. That's pretty funny. So yeah, Orange Cassidy, who's at AEW, pretty funny wrestler. Um, he's just very chill. He always has his sunglasses on. He has his hands in his pockets. But he's actually a good wrestler. Um, if you're not familiar with AEW, guys, go watch AEW. Go watch AEW. If you're tired of the same old stuff from WWE, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, always the same guys doing the same stuff, go watch AEW, man. It's so good. Um, all right. Last thing in the box, folks, is the 8x10 autograph. I've tried to go quick on this video, just kind of show you guys everything, and then we'll recap everything on the back. Uh, I don't know who was in this box, so this is going to be a total surprise to me. But let's pull it out and let's take a look. Oh, it's sideways. I'm going to have to look at it to be able to tell who it is. I don't know. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I have no idea who this is. I'm going to have to look at the spoiler card. I know that he is, looks like he's fighting somebody from the Bullet Club. I really don't know, guys. I'm going to have to look this one up because I don't know who that is. Uh, if it's Bullet Club, then it's probably at New Japan Pro. And I, I don't really have the ability to watch New Japan. Uh, so here we go, guys. Here's the spoiler card. Let's look and see what, what we got. So we got the Rowdy Panther shirt which is my favorite thing in the box, without without a doubt. Uh, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy t-shirt, absolutely freaking awesome. Chris Hero, uh, Micro Brawler, not necessarily one of my favorite guys, but you know, hey, Chris Hero. You had to get Chris Hero at some point. Uh, Juice Robinson is who the autograph is. Juice Robinson, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Juice Robinson, but it's a cool picture. It's an autograph. Still pretty cool. The Good Brothers lapel pin. I love the Good Brothers. Yeah, that's awesome. That's an awesome pin. Uh, and then the Ultimate Warrior bandana. Uh, oh, and also the Major Brothers, Cardona and Meyer. Brian Myers, that's his name. Matt Cardona and Brian Myers. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, that's Kurt Hawkins' name now, is Brian Myers. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much it tell me what you thought about this box this was a great box both of the shirts i liked the pin i liked the comic book i'm definitely going to read micro brawler chris here i'm just not a big fan I'm not a big fan of the ultimate warrior and i don't know who the autograph is <laughs> next month let's look at next month's guys next month again masks and paint oh i'm hyped for this one i'm hyped for this one road warriors hawk and animal and we if you don't know if you don't follow wrestling uh road warrior animal just passed away i believe in september um so it'll be really neat and nice to get something from the road warriors darby allen who's a great guy over at aw hurricane helms shane helms stand back there's a hurricane coming awesome killer cross great guy Kalisto, fantastic the boogeyman oh yeah and Glacier, a.k.a. Sub-Zero from WCW. If you don't know who Glacier is, <laughs> Glacier was basically Sub-Zero at WCW. So um, that's an exciting box to look forward to. I hope you guys come back. Probably it'll be like next Saturday that I'll have that box up, hopefully. Um, but come back, check it out. I think it's going to be good. And then we'll have November's probably in the next couple of weeks. And we'll get that one open as well. So that is really it, folks. Hope you're enjoying Pro Wrestling Crate. I know I freaking love this box. It's amazing. Never going to cancel this box. I hope they keep it going forever. Uh, that's really all I have for you guys today. As always, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek. And I hope you have a nice day.